itinerant ministers, independent gospel music artists, and entrepreneurs. Make plans now to be a part of one of the most innovative networks of its kind. NEFM, the Next Phase Ministry Network International. The Next Phase Ministry Network International networks small church pastors who are just starting their ministry, perhaps fewer than 150 members, with itinerant ministers, independent gospel music artists, and entrepreneurs with ministries, services, or products that would interest the small church pastor. Join founders Dr. Brenda C. Miller and Pastor W.C. Chambers III for first-hand information on this powerful network at one of our upcoming one-day summits. It is our desire to restore the level of dignity and excellence in the ministry growth process. At Nephum Small is not a stigma. The Next Phase Ministry Network International One-Day Summit. Seating is limited. Registration required. For more information, call 386-325-2050 or register online at www.npmni.net. Dr. Brenda C. Miller, we are here in whatever city we are, and I tell you what, once again, God is blessing. We just met this awesome family here, and family, tell us, where, where are you from? What city and state are you from? Charlotte, Ohio, Carolina, they're from Ohio. Yeah. Ohio, Columbus, 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 Ohio. And listen, they are actually one of the first partakers of our Covenant Partner Tour. We're blessing them with our covenant gift. This is our three DVD series and you can go on and get us anywhere globally at www.bodybuilderstv.com and out in the .net. That's www.bodybuilderstv.net. And I want y'all to watch them. They are dropping seeds. This is what it's all about, people. Sowing seeds into the kingdom. Covenant people, any place, any time. Look at what God is doing. And this is why. Listen, it's, it takes fuel to run this ministry for the network. That's yeah. why covenant yeah. partners, covenant right. gifts, that's right. And it's time to get connected. We want to make sure who's the point of contact that's going to give me everybody's name and number. Who's going to contact me back? I need yeah. somebody's card. Yeah. Who's got a card? Here, here you go, sweetheart. Fill this out. Fill this. It's a form in here. That's my information. Let's fill that out. And give that back to us. I tell you, this is all what God is doing. That's why the power of covenant. Two is better than one. The synergy that comes when we work together, when we come together to do things for God. I tell you this, and I tell you, we're believing for healing. We pray for our sisters. We want our viewers out there. And if you have a problem right now, go to that phone line, 904-692-2288. 904-692-BBTV. Call if you need a prayer. God is there to minister and to meet that need. This is what we're doing. We're traveling. We're on the road. Listen, Seattle, Portland, uh, Sacramento, Chicago, Indiana, we're coming your way. I'm Dr. Brennan C. Miller, and this is the Bodybuilders Television Network. We're here spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are redefining Christian TV www.bodybuilderstv.net So many things that we're going to be sharing. We don't even try to bring it out at one time because it, it's inexhaustive because that's the heartbeat of the ministry here. The foundational ministries of the Embassy Network International, Dr. W.C. Chambers III and myself and our key staff and team leaders here. And we thank in advance those of you that will be joining as covenant programming partners, as covenant uh, uh, partners and, and viewers and members of the network, our corporate sponsors and partners that are signing on as business partners and sponsors, programming, information. This is the place and we're excited about that. Your effectiveness, and, we, and you can take notes, but you can watch this and you're going to be just seeing a clip of this because this is what you're going to be watching. This is what you're going to be seeing. This is what you're going to be getting when you become a covenant partner at the Embassy Network International Ministries. This is, a, this is what comes from us. Amen. You are connected to Dr. W.C. Chambers III and myself, Dr. Miller. What we're doing is we're, we're building our partner base. We're building 
our network, our network through networking. And as we are doing that, when you partner with us, we are sharing you with our network. And for those that are watching and a part of your network, because of what you're being blessed with, your partners are going to be so blessed that you have introduced them to this network. They're going to be ready to sow more into you because in the time now, people, it's time that we need to curtail, we need to critique, we need to cut back because of the essence of amen and amen. A, the true effectiveness of your identity is only launched when you are in the right place. You are always who you are, but where you are determines your effectiveness. I am who I am, but the effectiveness of what I do happens because of where I am. How can I break that down? A bird always has the ability to fly. But if a bird is in a cage, everything that he needs to fly is there, but he is in a cage. He is limited because of his surroundings. But if you let open the door and allow that bird to fly loose, he will soar. He will fly. He will glide. Was he always able to do that? Yes. But what? His surroundings had limited him. Or uh, her, male bird, female bird. His, their surroundings had limited them. What are you saying, Dr. Brenda C. Miller? I'm glad you asked. What I'm saying is, is your surrounding can limit you. Your surrounding will affect you. Your surrounding, what are you surrounding yourself with? What are you listening to? What are you reading? Are you reading? What are you watching? You can be an awesome leader, but you can be caged in by your surroundings. That's why it is important. There is a place for the Embassy Network International Ministries. There is a place for the Bodybuilders Television Network. There is a place. There is a need. There is a niche. We have found and identified there is a need for programming and ministry that is targeted to get, build the leaders. You know what? I was going to go somewhere, but I'm not. I'm going to deal with just one scripture. Because from this series <laughs> on today, this is an awesome series. I'm going to pick back on it. But it is entitled Success God's Way, Goal Setting for Kingdom Success. All of this is a part of the Kingdom Building series. But there's something that just dropped in my heart and spirit just now that is a part of why we are doing what we are doing. When you look, let me see, when you look at the, the world today, the world is in dire need of positive leadership. Can somebody say amen? amen? We are allowing Hollywood to lead us. We are allowing television to lead us. Many people do not even read the Bible for themselves. Listen, don't let nobody preach to you and you haven't read it for yourself. I hear preachers quoting scriptures, quoting words that are not even a part of the scripture. They're only quoting what they heard somebody else say. You're so lazy. You haven't even looked it up for yourself. It's easier for you to repeat what you've heard instead of taking the time to study. This is something that Dr. Chambliss and I we were talking about. The Lord laid on my heart. And I shared it. If you got your Bibles, go to the book of St. Mark, chapter 3, and verse 27. St. Mark, chapter 3, and verse 27. From the New Living Translation, 
Let me see, which version do I want to put? Let me try the New American Standard Version before I read the King James Version. The New American Standard Version says this, but no man can enter the strong man's house and plunder his property unless he first binds the strong man and then he will plunder his house. No one can enter the strong man's house and plunder his property unless he first binds the strong man and then he will plunder his house. Let me get deep and let me get Pentecostal for some of you. Hmm? King James Version says, and thank you, Apostle. I'm sorry you had to let. Uh, no man can enter a strong man's house and spoil his goods except he will first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house. International Standard Version. No one can go into a strong man's house, carry off his or her possessions without first tying up the strong man. Then he can ransack his house. Ergo, the vision behind the Bodybuilders Television Network. We are redefining Christian TV. Why? We are not trying to reach the body. We are trying to reach the leaders. If we don't reach the leaders, if we don't build the leaders, if we don't synergize the leaders, if we don't empower the leaders, if we don't educate the leaders, if we don't encourage the leaders, the leaders are going to be weak. And if the leaders are weak, the enemy can come in and ransack your house, whether your house be your church, your business, your home. If you're weak and you burn out, me, ladies, that's why a lot of men are exposed to women because you burn out. Come on now. Can I get a witness? Men, a lot of you, your wives now, women weren't committing adultery before. It's women not leaving their homes, leaving their children. Am I right, Dr. Peck, for DCF? Don't women walk out? Women walk out. Women calling y'all, telling y'all, come get these babies. I'm leaving. I'm, enough is enough. And it's one of the things, and I think I'm at liberty to say this, that, and I think whether it is, it is Department of Children and Family Services all around the country, right? It's just indifferent. Is, is it, it's the same thing in every state. They have... They have other names, but they're basically, it used to be HRL, a Health and Rehabilitative Services and Department of Children and Family Services, whatever. But we have those things in place. And one of the things that I heard her say is, our job is not to take people's children, but many of them lack what? The skills, the ability, the education. They don't know what? The resources that are available for them. Oh, my God, I can just deal with that. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Am I right or wrong? Yeah. They don't know. And what you do is, hey, they have this aware for you. Listen, I can say this. I was married for almost 30 years. And when I was faced by divorce, I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything about the system. I didn't know about a food stamp. I didn't know about uh, the health care services. I didn't know about um, uh, alimony, child support. I didn't know about anything. I was so embarrassed for a whole year my husband was gone. I was kept telling everybody he was on the road because I didn't know what to say. I was embarrassed. I was not prepared. I was not equipped. Oh, but let me tell you, ignorance is not bliss. It's just ignorance. A lot of things that I was not aware of, a lot of benefits that would have been available for me at the time to help me and my, my babies that were left, a lot of things that I did not know. But I tell you what, may have a dollar or two in the bank, God done blessed did some things. Ask me now. Yeah. Come on, sisters out there, brothers, ask me now. Yeah. I'll give you the number, child support, child support enforcement, health department, food stamp, WIC. Uh, uh, do you know, it's so many things, and it's not an embarrassing thing. You need to hear somebody to say, listen, you need butter, eggs, milk. What else they give you on WIC? Uh, cheetahs, tuna, peanut butter. Fish, cereal, come on now. You need to know there's no shame in that game. But what? If you don't know what to do, not only do you suffer, your whole house goes apart. Your whole house is destroyed. Pastors, 
Because you are under-equipped, under-exposed, under-educated, devalued. You are losing your people, many to people that are teaching on Christian television networks that's taking your tithe money. That's, oh, y'all go like this. They're taking your offering money. They take, why? Because they sound like they're teaching something that they're not hearing at home. We want, there are men and women of God that's been called to empower, to encourage, to build those of you in the body. We want, there are helps, there are assets, pastors, that are leaders in home, in your business, in your community. There are things that God has in place for you. God, there's so many things I want to do. I'm not going to even try and expand my gosh so much on this. Uh, uh, that is such a blessing. Listen, the Aramaic Bible in plain English says this. A man, I like this one, a man cannot enter the house of a mighty one and rob his valuables unless he first binds the mighty one and he shall plunder his house. American King James, no one can enter to a strong man's house, spoil his goods, unless he first devours a strong man. And then he will spoil his house. Who is out to destroy your house? The thief. I don't have to go there. Goes, comes but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. There is a purpose. It's a reason for this ministry. We are here. Dr. Chambers, myself, is an apostle, producer, programmer, preacher. I am a prophet of the Lord. I am an interview hostess. I am a founder, visionary. We're both in those things. Programmer, salesperson. I do the sales. So if you would like more information, hey, you need to contact. But what am I saying is this. We have a team. We're building. But there's a purpose. We're not trying to reproduce or reinvent the wheel. Our goal is not to have 50 billion viewers worldwide. We don't want you just to spectate. We want you to participate. There's programming. There's things in place. There's meeting. There's webinars 24-7 right now. Even when you watch this, by the time you see this, we would have already made progress from this point in acquiring new programming for every aspect because they're all parts of you. Body, soul, mind, spirit. We want you to laugh. We want to encourage you. We want to inspire you. We want to prepare you. We want to equip you. But not only that, if you're building leaders, you need to train. We will be there to help train your staff. We'll be there to help train your people. You couldn't pay or send your staff or people to what you're going to watch here. Now, everything is not going to be available to them. That's why there are special things. And you can tell your people, listen. You will know up front what's going to be coming on. You'll tell your people, you need to watch this broadcast. Or you need to go there and watch this seminar. We're going to tune into that. There are so many things. It is inciting why you, as a pastor, should be a part of that embassy leaders package. You need to go to the website. Go, go right now. Go right now. Go right now. Go up there. I said go up there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I said go up there. You hear me? <laughs> no. Go there. <laughs> To that drop down bar. Drop down to the one that says leaders under the Bodybuilders Television Network. We have three there. The first drop down box says, what does it say? <laughs> does it say members or partners? Okay. The first one says, the first drop down box says, I know the second one says, and the third one says prayer line. New the, okay, what's the first one say? New kingdom, New kingdom leaders. And what's the second one? Members. New members. Okay. The first one is new kingdom leaders. You need to go there, fill out that information. And as soon as you do, if you're watching, I want you to contact us right now. Leaders at bodybuilderstv.net. Leaders at bodybuilderstv.net. That's your personal email address. For members, that's the next one, right? Members. Members, if you're a new member, you're out there. Members 
at bodybuilderstv.net. Go there, drop down, sign up, fill out, do that today. Do that right now. You need to get connected. There's so much in place. And number three, the scripture says this. Cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. Apostle Chambers, Dr. Chambers has been always a heartbeat. He said, where, where are shepherds? Where do they go when they bleed? Where do they need help? I'm going to close with one scripture on today that's also going to be possibly, I know, one of our events. This was a summit meeting that we had before of that same name, but I want to uh, identify a scripture on today because this is going to bless a lot of uh, people. Uh, the Apostle Paul was an apostle. He went, he checked on, he established churches. Okay, he established churches. He dealt with churches. He built churches. But he was also concerned about churches and about pastors. If you get your Bible, go to the book of Acts. Go to the book of Acts. Chapter 20. Paul had visited the city of Miletus for a day or two. And as he was waiting there for messengers to return for the word, a word from the elders at Ephesus. That's why he was there waiting. When they arrived, he gave them a message of warning. His only recorded sermon given exclusively to kingdom leaders. His only recorded message given exclusively to a group. Paul had talked to individuals. He talked to Timothy. He talked to others. But Paul here dealt with the leaders. And this was what he did. In Acts chapter 20 and verse 17, it says, And from Miletus, he sent messengers to Ephesus to ask the leaders of the church to meet him. I'm going to stop with this and pick back up on this in another message. You need to stay tuned. That's why you need to be a part. You need to connect. You need to become a member of the Embassy Network and the National Ministries, the home and headquarters of the Bodybuilders Television Network. We are not exclusively just TV. We have one network which will be the evangelistic arm, and that will be the Bodybuilders Television Network, but that network will be available all over, but all of the channels, and that will be a combination of all of the channels, all 24 channels on the Bodybuilders Television Network, but the Bodybuilders Television Network that's available with the 24 channels and all that you see via our website and other available areas, you can only get that by being a member. And when you are a member, what you are, that's your evangelistic arm because those of you that are partnering will help pay to promote evangelistically the Bodybuilders Television Network. That network will be out there and it will be awesome. But here, this is where you find the heartbeat and thrust. And I'm shutting my laptop down on this. Now from Miletus, he sent to Ephesus and call the elders of the church to meet him. Unless you first bind the strong man. Paul recognized and understands that leadership is individualized. I would like to apologize for every leader, especially pastor, who has gone to a conference and had to sit in the nosebleed section, who's gone to a conference and not been encouraged, has not been recognized. For every pastor that has gone and given and sold and sold and left empty, broke, depleted, because you went there really thinking that that person, individual, was going to be there to help you, 
But it wasn't designed to do that. It's a conference. It's designed to build money for budgets. We have those. We've had those. But we will tell you up front, this is designed to raise money. I came out of the grand old church, okay, over 30 some years, almost 40 years, grand old church. If anything I know, I know how to raise money and identify, but honesty and integrity. We will tell you right up front, this is our goal and this is what we need it for. Now I was trained that way. <laughs> so we do that here. If it's about money, we're going to tell you what the goal is in the budget. We're not going to bring people on to manipulate you. We're not going to bring people on to, to uh, try to make you do. We're going to let you see the programming, what's going to be there available, and you know exactly what you're getting. And you know exactly the benefit of it. Won't you take that time right now, look at that information on the screen, click down to the link. Everywhere that says membership, I either go back up to the bodybuilder's thumbnail. You click there if you are a past or future leader, you need to sign up there. If you are a present leader, you need to go to New Kingdom Leaders. Sign up for that embassy package. There are three packages that are available for you, depending upon where you are. For $29.95, that membership package, among other things, includes five channels of television programming. For $39.95, your membership includes 10 channels of programming. For $49.95, your program, your membership includes 20 channels of programming. But that embassy package for those pastors, family, ministry, business, political, community, civic, if you're leading in any area, and this is something that we've come to understand, there are people that are leading that are not pastors. You're leading, it is vital, if you are a school principal, and you are a believer, and you're leading children, and you only attend Sunday school at church. It's important for you to be a part of this, a member of this network. Am I right, Apostle? They need to be a part here, because there's information that you're going to get. Your pastor is not going to teach you. Get there. Stay at your local, ship, local church. Fellowship there. Get there. But you need something extra. And for Miletus, he called for the elders of church. At the embassy, we're calling for the leaders. Pastors that lead, ministers that lead, salespeople that lead, business owners that lead, politicians that lead, civic leaders that lead. You're running a Girl Scout brownie troop and you're leading other people, you need to benefit, you can benefit from this. Those that lead, the Bodybuilders Television Network, the media teaching, training, equipping arm, of the Embassy Network and National Ministries, where we are globally synergizing kingdom leaders. I'm Dr. Brenda C. Miller. Thank you for tuning in on today. Go back. I'm sure I'm going to be saying more. I'm going to close out here, and you'll be seeing more. That's it for me. I am Dr. Brenda C. Miller here live at the studios, Studio A, at the headquarters of the Embassy Network and International Ministries, home of the Bodybuilders Television Network, located right here in the nation's oldest city, St. Augustine, Florida. Thank you. Small church pastors, itinerant ministers, independent gospel music artists, and entrepreneurs make plans now to be a part of one of the most innovative networks of its kind. NEFM, the Next Face Ministry Network International. The Next Face Ministry Network International networks small church pastors who are just starting their ministry, perhaps fewer than 150 members, with itinerant ministers, independent gospel music artists, and entrepreneurs with ministries, services, or products that would interest the small church pastor. Join founders Dr. Brenda C. Miller and Pastor W.C. Chambers III for first-hand information on this powerful network at one of our upcoming one-day summits. It is our desire to restore the level of dignity and excellence in the ministry growth process. At Nephilim Small is not a stigma. The Next Phase Ministry Network International One-Day Summit. Seating is limited. Registration required. For more information, call 386-325-2050 or register online at www.npmni.net. Whatever you believe in God for, put a name on your seat. What you doing? Taking yours with you, Mom? Hey, this is Dr. Brenda C. Miller. We are here in whatever city we are. And I tell you what, once again, God is blessing. 
We just met this awesome family here. And family, tell us where, where are you from? What city and state are you from? Charlotte, North Carolina. They're from Ohio. Ohio, Columbus, Columbus. From Columbus, Ohio. And listen, they are actually one of the first partakers of our Covenant Partner Tour. We're blessing them with our Covenant gift. Yeah. This is our three DVD series, and you can go on and get us anywhere globally at www.bodybuilderstv.com and out in the .net. That's www.bodybuilderstv.net, and I want y'all to watch right. them. They are dropping seeds. That's this right. is what it's all about, people: That's sowing right. seeds That's right. into the kingdom, covenant right. people, any place, any time. Right. Look at what God is doing, and this is why. Listen, it's, it takes fuel to run this ministry for the network. That's yeah, why covenant yeah. partners, covenant that's gifts, right. that's right. And it's time to get connected. We want to make sure who's the point of contact that's going to give me everybody's name and number. Who's going to contact me back? I need yeah. somebody's card. Yeah, who's that card? Here, here you go, sweetheart. Fill this out. Yeah. Is there this? something on there? It's a form in here. That's my information. Just um, fill that out. And give that back to us. I tell you, this is all what God is doing. That's why the power of covenant. Two is better than one. The synergy that comes when we work together, when we come together to do things for God. I tell you this, and I tell you, we're believing for healing. We pray for our sisters. We want our viewers out there. And if you have a problem right now, go to that phone line, 904-692-2288. 904-692-BBTV. Call if you need a prayer. God is there to minister and to meet that need. This is what we're doing. We're traveling. We're on the road. Listen, Seattle, Portland, uh, Sacramento, Chicago, Indiana, we're coming.